name is Caroline Banks from the Daytown Garden Club, and this is a bean plant. Uh, so far, it's going really tall, but there's no beans on it right now. <laughs> My name is Braden. This is a tomato plant. It, they, there's no no toma red tomatoes on it, but but there is the green tomatoes. There's there's flowers still, but there's uh, there's nothing else. My name is Lauren, and I'm in the J Town Gardening Club. My favorite plant in the garden is the marigolds. <laughs> the reason they're my favorite is because they keep the animals, like rabbits, away from the garden, and they help the garden a lot. And um, the, um, I'm in the J Town Garden Club, and this is the bean plant, and it hasn't really grown beans, but it has a lot of bees. I'm the J-Town Elementary um, Garden Club, and this is um, lettuce. I, um, like, I like it a lot um, with my ranch, and especially um, I, like, I like it for salad. And I am in the J-Town Elementary Garden Club, and radish is my plant, and I like radish. Yeah. Yeah, it's my favorite. My name is Jacob Wright, and I'm in the J Town Gardening Club. And my favorite plant is the radishes because there's one big one over there, and so, uh, and so my favorite plant is the radish. This is a. My name's Brainin, and this is a. This is a. Um, a turnip. It is. It still has the root, and it's very very big. It just been picked out of the garden a few minutes ago. So and the uh, leaves been torn and but it but and, and I'm in the Jake Town Gardening Club and I'm a first grader. So you can come to J Town. You can come to J Town next 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 year and and when when next grade you can come to J Town whenever you when Whenever you ask your mom or dad, you can come to J-Town, and, and, and when you're in second grade, you can give me in the gardening club. Hi, my name is Gia, and I'm in the J-Town Elementary Gardening Club, and today I'm here with a tomato plant. As you see, some leaves have dried up, and let's go over here to see the flowers. See, here is a flower, and um, sometimes when you pick off the tomatoes, this little bulb is left, but it's all dried out. And that is how the stem forms. And see how um, on the flower it has like little leaves hooked to it? They grow on the tomato plant, and that is how it's done. I'm Gia, and I will see you all later. My name is Lauren Miner, and this is our herbs garden. It represents the senses. Now, here is something called oregano. Back in here. Sometimes they use it for spices and things. And then there's also the peppers. If you touch the juice in them, then you touch your eye, it can really burn your eye. And then there's the lavender. Lots of times it attracts bees and butterflies. <coughs> Hi, my name is Mackenzie, and I'm with the J Town Elementary Garden School. At, uh, gardening Club, and I'm here with the Ash. Ashley, um, some flowers. If you can see, so a lot of them are dead, mostly because it's close to winter. And so, um, here's one that is fully grown right here. And um, say that. And I'll catch you all soon. My name is Lauren, and I'm here to show you a part of the herb garden. It's called lamb's ear. 
hard to see, but it's right in here. If you get a chance to feel any lamb's ear, then it's really, really soft. It can grow everywhere, pretty much. It spreads a lot, so you have to, like, cage it up or something. And then, since I said it spreads a lot, you can come over here. And if you look, then there's some more lamb's ear around here. All right, here it is. But as you can see, people have been stepping on this, so it's very flat and lost, it to lost its touch. Hi, my name is Mackenzie, and I'm here with and I'm here with the Jayton Elementary School Gardening Club, and I'm right here next to the broccoli, but none of the broccoli I don't think has sprouted yet. And um, well. All I know is some people like broccoli and some people don't. They think it's like gross. Um, and um, there are like in these leaves, they're like a dirt and water. And like um, in some of them, there's a lot of holes and some of them are turning brown. This one right here is turning brown and a yellow and a greenish looking. And um, if we go over here, I forgot what this flower is. Life and cycle. it put what? It's like the life cycle. And these, um, it keeps dropping since it's leaning over here to where the broccoli is. It is dropping seeds and making new plants grow. Well, that's all today. Bye bye. Catch you later. Hi, my name is Mackenzie. My name is Caroline, and we're here from the Jaytown Garden <laughs> Club. I'm here with. We um, sat in here and um, we need to be able to fix the plug in the waterfall and make sure the um, these rocks are heavier because kids at this school decide to move them to block the water from getting down. This is our wetland and um, you take a good glimpse of it. And we're trying to put more plants in it to make it look nicer. And we're trying to put a fence around it so the mowers don't like cut it over and get into our wetlands. So that seems why. See you later. Hi, my name is Mackenzie. Hi, my name is Caroline. And, and we're, we're here, here with the Garden, garden, garden Club, Club at Daytown. Club at Daytown Elementary. And I'm here with this water fountain and we need a new pump for it. Um, so water can come down into our wetland over here. And um, we need the rocks to be a lot stronger because kids at Daytown Elementary, um, they, they move them and which blocks the water from getting down into our wetland. Hi again. This is our um, wetlands over here. You see, this is your of it. And our wetlands, we're trying to put more plants in it so it looks a little bit nicer. And we're trying to put a fence all around it so the mowers don't pick, uh, cut the cut tails of it right here or here. See you later. Hi, my name is Mackenzie, and I'm here with the Jaytown Elementary Gardening Club, and. Next to me is our willow tree, and um, it's sort of dying, but the kids come here and they play with them. And uh, they go under here, and um, see all these branches, they're breaking because, um, because the kids are playing on them, which breaks it. But it's at, um it's it's bad for the tree, partly. But if you look down here, there's some water from our wetlands, and it 
it helps the tree grow bigger and grow more stronger for the kids not to break the branches. And well, my name's Mackenzie, and I'll see catch y'all a little later. Caroline, and this is our butterfly garden. You can see that butterflies like to visit it, and you can come inside the garden and um, see all the gifts that, have, that butterflies like. And um, it's a very, very pretty, pretty garden that we love to play in and look and see all the butterflies in. And I guess I'll see you later.